Okay, here we go. Let's get your problem fixed here. Okay. First thing you're going to need is you're going to need GCF Scape. If you haven't already got it, what the version that you're looking for is 184. Find that by going to Google and typing in GCF Scape. And the first link that bring that comes up is NIMS Tools GCF Scape Download. And if you look here, it should say version 1.8.4. That's the one you want. Click on the link. Go to NIMS Tools. Okay, the one that you want is the installer. Click on the installer. This is if you haven't already got it or your version is earlier than 1.8.4. Okay, save as I usually just save it to my desktop. And as you can see, I've already got it here, so I'm not going to bother saving it again. Okay, once that comes down, what you want to do is double click on the installer and install GCF Scape. Now you can install it anywhere, but I usually install it right back into the SDK tools, and uh, it might not be a good plan anymore simply due to the fact that all the SDK tools are changing. And it won't be until such time as all the games have been converted to the new format that um, the STK tools will probably get changed. Anyway, that being said, what we're going to do is we're going to launch GCF Scape. And what we're going to do now is this little folder and arrow. We're going to click on the open file. And where we want to head to is... Steam apps and write uh, Steam, uh, Steam, Steam program file, Steam, Steam apps. Right here in in the Steam apps folder, you're going to find the GCF files for episode two. Okay. Running down the list here, you've got episode two content, maps, materials, and this one down here is the sound files. First one we're going to open is going to be episode two content. Now inside episode two, EP two, you're going to find the models, particles, and some sum files. Now there's only like 337, 388 and 396 files in this particular folder. These are models that are specific to Episode 2. The other ones should be found either in Episode 1 or in Half-Life 2 proper. So what we're going to do now is we're going to navigate to Source Film Maker Game and we're going to create a folder called EP2. I'm just going to delete this one. Right click and right click new folder EP2. Once that's cr uh, created, open it up. Okay, select models, hold down the control key, select particles and select sounds. You don't want anything else that's in here. Right click on one that's highlighted and click extract. You should be able to just pull them into the directory but the last time I tried that it just crashed. So I'm going to go down here to Steam, Steam Apps, Source Filmmaker, or yeah Source Filmmaker, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Source Filmmaker, EP2, click on that folder, and say OK. Oh, 337 items. That's uh, folders off of the main uh, directory. So what we're doing now is we're downloading 6,093 files. 
thing about GCF Scape is you can actually open multi instances of it. So you can get more than one instance running at the same time. Because there's four folders, I'm going to open another two, uh, three instances just to save time on the video. Okay, so in one, I've already got the content coming down. I'm going to open this one, go to Steam Apps, scroll down, episode two. Where are you? Episode two maps. Open up that folder. Right click on that. Extract. Again, down to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Source Filmmaker, EP2. And I'm going to extract it there. 79 files coming out of that one. In this particular instance, I'm going to open uh, Steam, Steam Apps, and I'm going to scroll down to Materials, and I'm going to open the Materials file. When I right click on the Materials file, I'm going to extract that to <coughs> C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Source Filmmaker, Game, and that EP2 folder that we created. Okay. And in this one, I'm going to extract the sound file. So I'm going to open it, go to Steam Apps, scroll down here to Half-Life 2, Episode 2 English. Open that up. Oh, there's more maps and more sounds. What those are are probably the uh, uh, map sound cache files and the other sounds. So I'm going to right -click, select both of them and extract them to C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Source Filmmaker, Game, and that EP2 folder that we saw before. Now if it tells you that there's already, oh it's not going to by the looks of it, Okay, material files are still coming down. This one is still coming down. Material files are still coming down. Content files are still coming down. And the sound files are still coming down. Okay, I'm going to just close off the video here so cut down on time. I'll come back on when these are just about finished. Okay, maps and materials have finished downloading. You can close out of those two sessions. Content is finished. You can close out of that. And now the sounds and map sounds have finished. If you go into your EP2, uh, EP2 folder now, you're going to find a Maps, Material, Models, Particles, and Sound folder. Open this up. Here's all your models for Episode 2. And in the Materials folder, we should find all the materials for them. Models, players, there we go. Okay. I'm going to maps. There's all the BSP maps. Now, whether or not these will work in Source Filmmaker or not, I'm not sure.
particles. If you want to try and grab some of their particles, they're available to you now in Source Filmmaker. Some may be broken. And sounds. Here's all your sounds. Voiceovers. Gordon? Okay. <laughs> I know, I know. I shouldn't have worried. Okay, so we've got that done. There's one more step that you have to complete before they're usable in Source Filmmaker. Now you have to go to your user mod, find the game info text file, come down here. Now let's see, where is Half Life? Half Life 2, it's the bottom game. What we're going to do is we're going to put EP2 above Half-Life 2. And what that will do is if there is a model that is used in EP2 that is the same name and texture files as the one in Half-Life 2, it will use the one in EP2 first rather than the one in Half-Life 2. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to edit. We're going to come in here somewhere. Copy that, Control-V to enter that, and we're going to throw EP2, the name of the folder, right here. Okay, we're going to throw EP2 into our game folder here. We're going to file save that. We can exit out of that now. And what we have to do now is launch Source Filmmaker. I'll come back when this is loaded. Okay, Source Filmmaker is loaded. Create a session. Load a map. I just want stage. Just to test the stuff out. Once stage is loaded, we're going to right click here, create an animation set for a new model. Now this is going to take some time for me because of the fact that I have so many models and it's the last one in. But if I scroll down here, I should now find EP2 right there. Oh, they're already loaded. Look, Alex. Uh, the doctor, all the fallen trees and grass clusters, everything for the maps. And that means you should be good to go. And there you go. And that's how you get EP2 into Source Filmmaker. With that, Private Jack out.